Hey everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing a few of the forearm crutches that I've used over the past seven years. This video is for people who are either looking to buy forearm crutches for the very first time and aren't quite sure where to start, or for people who are looking to upgrade their crutches and want to get some more information on these brands. So I will be reviewing Millennial Medicals In Motion Pro Forum crutches, some cheap generic drugstore crutches, side sticks, and cool crutches. If you are brand new to forearm crutches, I will briefly go over the different parts and features that crutches can have, but if you already know all of this, feel free to skip to the next chapter. Starting with cuffs. This is the part that goes around your forearm and it can either be an open or a closed cuff, where the closed cuff has that extra piece that goes all the way around the forearm. Open versus closed cuff style is really just a matter of preference. Open cuffs are great for people who want the freedom to be able to quickly take your arms out of the crutches, whereas the closed cuff helps the crutch to stay in place so you can move your arms around freely without having to worry about the crutches falling down or having to hold on to them. For example, if you're opening a door or shaking someone's hand. Next, the grips or handles are where your hands go. Some crutches will have ergonomic handles to reduce the pressure on your wrists and make it more comfortable to put all of your weight into your hands. Some crutches will have shocks, which are that piece that have a little give to reduce the impact as you're transferring your weight. It makes walking a little bit smoother and quite a bit more comfortable, especially if you're using the crutches for weight bearing. Most crutches will have adjustable heights, which serves two purposes. One, so that a person who is 5'2 can use the same crutches as someone who is 6'2", but also because you may need to adjust the height of your crutches based on the types of shoes that you're wearing. For example, flats versus high heels or even casual sneakers versus hiking boots. Also, some folks may be interested in adjusting the height based on the activity that you're doing. For example, hiking uphill or downhill, it might help to have the crutches a little taller or shorter. The other piece that's often adjustable is the part between the handle and the cuff. It's to adjust for the length of your forearm. You generally want the top of the cuff to fall about two inches below your elbow, so make sure to adjust for that too. And finally, the bottom piece of the crutch is called the foot, tip, or shoe. This piece is often replaceable since that's the part that's likely going to get destroyed the most from walking, um, but also because they make different feet for different types of terrain. For example, rocky or icy terrain, it might help to change out the foot for something with better grip or slip resistance. Okay, now let's get to the reviews. If you only listen to one review today, let it be this first one. Millennial Medical's In Motion Pro Forum crutches have some really great features for a great price and, in my opinion, are the biggest bang for your buck. They cost $130 for the pair and they come with closed cuffs, ergonomic handles, and shocks, or spring assist, as they call it. One thing I really appreciate about the In Motion Pros is that you can buy replacement parts for the cuff cuff clip, lower post, and shocks, so that if one piece gets damaged, you can just replace that one piece instead of having to buy a whole new pair of crutches. They also have two different cuff sizes. So the cuffs that my crutches came with were too big for me, so I ordered the smaller cuffs, and I use those most of the time, but I also kept the larger cuffs to use during the winter with my big Carhartt jacket. It's also really easy to adjust the height on these crutches. You just pinch these silver pieces and then move the crutch up or down. <laughs> um, this is nice because you're able to adjust it on the go much more easily and without having to worry about keeping track of a tool or losing any pieces as with some of the other crutches on this list. The other thing I love is that they break down to a smaller size very easily. You just pinch and then pull out the bottom, maybe. <laughs> and then they're easier to store or transport. I do this sometimes in the side-by-side, -side, but it's also been uh, really handy in the truck and camper. 
And I also imagine that this would be really useful for putting them in the overhead bin of a plane so you don't have to let somebody else touch your crutches. Do not trust anyone at the airport with your mobility aids. Just ask any wheelchair user who travels. One of the downsides about the InMotion Pros is that the shocks or spring assist is located at the bottom of the crutch, which makes them vulnerable to dirt and rocks and other junk. The very first time I used these crutches, a small rock got lodged in one of the shocks, and it has not worked ever since. But this never happened with the other crutch, and that part is replaceable, um, which either wasn't available back when I was using them, or I just didn't know it was an option. Um, so this is not a huge deal, just something to be aware of if you're planning to use these crutches for hiking or other outdoor activities. The other downside is that they are quite loud. They make that classic clicking noise that a lot of forearm crutches make, and there's just nothing you can do about that. But overall, I loved these crutches. I used them for five years. They were my first pair of crutches that I used long term, so they will always have a special place in my heart. I definitely recommend checking these out, but I also think that this is a good price point in general. There are probably very similar crutches at this price point by other brands that would be worth looking into. Just double check that they have the same features like ergonomic grips, shocks, and replaceable parts. But this is where I would start if you're looking to buy crutches for the first time or for your next affordable day-to-day -day crutches. Well, the InMotion Pros were the first crutches that I used long term. They were technically not my first crutches ever. Back in 2016, I had been using a cane for about seven or eight months when I started to wonder if I needed more support. So I decided I wanted to try forearm crutches, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money and I had no idea what I was looking for. So I ended up buying just a basic cheap pair of drugstore crutches. I don't even remember the brand name, but they cost about 50 bucks. They had open cuffs, no shocks, no ergonomic handles. They were made of cheap plastic with that lovely beige color of medical devices. Honestly, I think the only positive thing I could say about them is that they were the cheapest option available. <laughs> These crutches were so bad that I couldn't even walk in them. I mean, part of the problem was that I didn't know how to walk with forearm crutches in general. At the time, I thought there was only one way to walk with forearm crutches where you lean way forward and use one at a time. I remember trying to practice walking with them in my living room and I could not figure it out. Of course, now I know that there's not just one way to use forearm crutches. You use them however you need to in order to help with your particular needs. But the other problem was that they were just truly terrible crutches, very hard on my body and difficult to walk in. Also, open cuffs, not my thing. I'm sure there are people out there who love open cuffs, and I am not one of those people. I tried to make them work by sewing covers to pad the handle and cuff to make them fit better and be a little bit more comfortable, and it still didn't work. The only time I used them for real was on a field dig in Canada for grad school, and it was a total disaster. I'm horrified thinking about all of those people that witnessed that awkwardness. <laughs> it's because of these crutches that I spent an entire year thinking that crutches were not for me. So if your goal in purchasing these crutches is similar to mine, to see if crutches can help you, then these are probably not the right way to go. Unless you think um, that open cuffs will be a good fit for you, or you're not using them for weight bearing, then maybe they would be okay to start with. But otherwise, I'd recommend avoiding these if it's at all possible. Go for the next price point up. If you can afford a $100 pair or the InMotion Pros, then that's what I would do. Uh, buy nice or buy twice is the lesson that I learned. <laughs> Okay, now let's go from the cheapest crutches on this list to the most expensive. 
These are the Rolls-Royce of forearm crutches and the only crutches that are made specifically for hiking. Of course, I'm talking about side sticks. This is their boundless model. They are custom made to your measurements with really high quality materials. They are very lightweight and very quiet with absolutely no clicking noise. You can choose from three different cuff styles, open, closed, or this side closed cuff, which is the one that I chose to allow for even greater movement of my arms. They have ergonomic handles and an extra pad behind the forearm for comfort. And the shocks are located at the top of the crutch instead of the bottom. Also, the height is very adjustable. Instead of only having large one inch increments, you can adjust it anywhere you want within this two inch range. The downsides of side sticks are the price. When I bought these last year, they cost $700 and prices have gone up even higher since then. At the time of this video, they are now $900. The other con for me is that you only get that two inch range in height. So what they do is they take your height measurement and you get one inch above that number and one inch below that number um, so that you can adjust based on the types of shoes that you're wearing. And for most people, that two inch range is all they'll need. Like for me, my hiking boots um, definitely have thicker soles than my casual everyday shoes, but not by a lot. So the two inch range is just fine. Um, but for anybody who likes going from flats to three inch heels, you might be a bit more limited there. But the main concern I had regarding the height range was that the way I used my crutches just so happened to change right around the time I bought my side sticks. So I had previously leaned down into my crutches more back when my right leg dragged a little bit, but now I tend to stand up straighter and I lean to the side. So the height I was using on my crutches actually changed by an inch. So it made me very nervous <laughs> that I was going to get these crutches and they weren't going to be the right height for me. And at this price point, it's not like I can just buy another pair if my height needs change again. So I do wish there was a little more wiggle room to allow for people's needs changing over time. Uh, maybe three inches, no more than four would be sufficient, I think, but two is cutting it pretty close. So if you're going to order side sticks, make sure you get that measurement right because there's very little room for error in that aspect. A few other small downsides of side sticks. You do need a tool to adjust the height, so you'll need to keep track of it and bring it with you. Um, you can't break them down to a smaller size for easier traveling. And I do feel like the um, handles are a little bit small. I'm pretty sure they're custom fit for my small hands, um, but I feel like they're a little bit too small and I wish that they were a little bit thicker. Overall, these are my favorite crutches. You would hope so for the price, so thank goodness for that. Um, I actually waited five years to buy these. For a long time, I thought my mobility issues were temporary, um, so I didn't see the point in spending $700 on crutches if I was just going to get better in six months to a year. So I stuck with my um, In Motion Pros, but year after year went by and my legs started getting worse. So finally last year, I decided my legs were worth the investment um, and I bought the side sticks and I'm really glad that I did. Honestly, I continue to be amazed by how nice they are, <laughs> by how quiet and comfortable and how lightweight they are. As much as I loved my In Motion Pros, you can absolutely tell the difference between $130 crutches and $700 crutches or now $900 crutches. They do have a slightly less expensive model called Discovery that might be worth looking into. Um, those ones used to cost $500. I think they're now closer to $700. Um, the Discovery ones do not have shocks. So if you don't use crutches for weight bearing or you aren't planning to walk long distances, then those might be good enough. Um, but the Boundless model is the one to get for weight bearing and long distances, especially for hiking and outdoor activities. But I also think that they're wonderful for everyday use too. So if you've been considering side sticks and you're wondering if they're worth the money, they were for me, considering that I'm going to be using these long term um, and they're so much better both for outdoor activities and indoor activities. So hopefully this information can help you decide if they'll be worth the money for you too.
If side six are my hiking boots, then this next pair of crutches is my high heels. Cool crutches are by far the prettiest, best looking crutches on this list. They come in a ton of different designs and colors, or you can upload your own design for a personalized pair of crutches. They cost about $200 for one of their designs or $270 for the personalized ones. You can also choose to order a single crutch instead of having to order the pair. They come with a closed cuff, a machine washable grip cover, and an adjustable height from 5 foot to 6 2. You just pop this piece off, move the crutch up or down, and then pop that piece back in. The biggest downside of cool crutches for me is that they do not have shocks. Shocks make a really big difference when you're using crutches for weight bearing, so that was a disappointment for me. Another con is that this material feels like a very hard, cheap plastic that is pretty uncomfortable, and at this price point I expected a little bit higher quality. Some other minor issues that I've noticed, I've had some problems with this extra piece inside the cuff. Um, because if I'm wearing a jacket and I'm moving my arms around a lot, for example, if I'm opening a door and then trying to put my hand back on the grip and going back to walking, uh, my jacket gets pinched in between these two pieces and I have to fuss with it and fix it before I can get back to walking. Also, the method of adjusting the height is a little bit difficult. Um, for anybody that struggles with their hands and fingers, they may need assistance, and I do worry about losing this piece. And lastly, while they do advertise the crutches as not making the clicking noise, um, in my experience, they do still make a type of clicking sound, especially when I'm putting more of my weight into them and on hard flooring in particular. They're definitely not as loud as the InMotion Pros, but they're also not silent like the side sticks. Having said all of that, I love these crutches, and this company is run by some really great people. It's owned and operated by a disabled woman and her mother, and I absolutely love what they're doing. It's so wonderful that people get to choose a mobility aid that is fun and colorful and reflects their personality, and they have a ton of design options to choose from. I was so excited to order a pair for Christmas a few months ago. I um, decided to do a personalized design featuring the disability pride flag created by Anne McGill, and I'm just so in love with them. They're just so pretty, I can't stop staring at them. <laughs> I was disappointed the first few times I used them because they're not nearly as comfortable to walk in um, as the InMotion Pros due to the um, lack of shocks and the hard plastic. Um, if you aren't using them for weight bearing or you're only going short distances or you only use one crutch, they'll probably work just fine for you. But just know that for weight bearing and long distances, they're probably going to be uncomfortable. Kind of like high heels, as my husband pointed out. <laughs> you don't wear them because they're comfortable, you wear them because they're pretty. What's funny though is that this actually ended up working out in my favor because I've been having a hard time convincing myself to use crutches for short distances. I'm physically capable of walking unassisted for a short distance, but that doesn't mean that I should. Even 50 feet can cause a great deal of pain um, and lead to a loss of function in the days following. So it's best for me to use the crutches as much as possible. I've just been having a hard time actually doing that due to internalized ableism. <laughs> but then these beautiful crutches came along that I can't really use for long distances, but they're so pretty and I'm so excited to show them off that now I'm looking for any excuse I can to use them. So now I use these for those shorter trips and I'm finally getting the support that I've been needing. So I think it worked out pretty well. Right, those are my reviews. In summary, I definitely recommend skipping over the cheapest model if you can and going straight for the InMotion Pros or something similar in that price range. Side sticks and cool crutches are fantastic, but they both still do have their setbacks. I'm definitely curious to hear what your experiences are with the different brands. What crutches did you like and dislike? Let us all know in the comments. Take good care of you everyone. We'll see you next time. are either looking to buy forearm crutches for the bit <laughs> you just pinch these silver poop
<laughs> silver pieces. You just pinch and then pull, maybe pull out the bottom. <laughs> Help with your particular needs. The other problem is that they were just truly terrible crutches. <clears throat> <laughs> laughter, laughter, open the eyes. Okay. <laughs> this first one. Millennial note. <laughs> God damn. That's a hard tongue twister right there. If you're planning to use them when you're, if you're planning to use them for hiking, <laughs> instead of having to buy a whole new pair of crutches. They also have different cum size. Oh my god. <laughs> they also have different cuff sizes. The cuffs that my crutches came with were too big for me. Oh.